We are now three months from occipital nerve decompression for this patient who had very severe headaches um, prior to surgery. Tell us about your headaches. Where were your headaches before surgery? They were all in the back, right behind my ears and down my neck. Yeah. And how often did you have these headaches? All the time. All the time? Day. 24 hours a day, seven yep. days a week? Yep. And give us an idea how severe were your headaches? Did they keep you from going to class? Did they keep you from oh, doing anything you yeah. like to do? Prohibited me from going to class, training. I'm an athlete at the University of Maryland. Mm -hmm. um, could not train. I was throwing up every day. Um, I had some numbness, a lot of pressure back there. I was blacking out. I had vision impairments. Um, I couldn't function as a daily human. <laughs> and uh, you were being treated um, with doctor, by Dr. Kevin Crutchfield who diagnosed your problem, who yes. also had you on medication for this and who did a wonderful job doing the diagnosis and the early treatment, but unfortunately didn't respond to the early treatment. And um, what kind of medications were you on? Were you on more than one medication for this? Oh, several. I can't even keep count. We've tried different combinations. We tried one medication over the other. Um, we tried combinations. We tried switching. I was on several medications before surgery. Okay, and then you were referred to us uh, for the surgery because the medications didn't help you. Mm -hmm. um, you're now three months after surgery, and how are your headaches now? Great. Yeah? So great. <laughs> Did he take you off the medications? Yep, no medications. No medications at all. And when was the last really bad headache you had? You've had? Um, finals week in school, but it was stress induced, so I feel great. And how frequently do you have headaches? Would you say you're ten percent better, twenty percent better? What would you say? Ninety five percent better. Ninety five percent better. For so sure. is that is that pretty good? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Knowing what you know now, uh, would you put yourself through that operation again if you had yes. to, to go back in time? Yes, it was the easiest thing I've ever done. All right, let me take a look at your scars if you don't mind, just so we can see. So she has one incision on the midline here, which you can hardly see, it's healed. And then there's one on this side, and there's another one opposite on the other side as well. All right, so would you consider this successful? Oh. Very. There was a word beyond it. I would use that. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. And thank you, Dr. Crutchfield, for uh, sending you, you and diagnosing you.